Good morning. Brought uh, Devotion Helper here with me today. She's a uh, big six month old today. And so got a half year of life experience under her belt now and gonna celebrate, right? Yeah, gonna celebrate by what, eating, playing, taking very good naps, and sleeping through the night for mom and dad. So big day. Today for our study, um, Mark chapter 7, I'm going to read the whole section, 31 through 37. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon, down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. There some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk, and they begged him to place his hand on the man. After he took him aside, away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh said to him, Ephrathah, which means be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened, his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone, but the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. You know, Jesus continues to bring healing into the world, physical, but more importantly, that message of forgiveness. But for this man, it was it was life-changing, right? For this man, this day, it was specifically for him. What a life-changing day it was for him. And I got to imagine, as uh, someone who could not talk or hear, to be able to see Jesus and to feel Jesus touching him as he's doing this for him, it had to have meant a whole lot for him. And that's a... It's an important thing, right? A, a close touch, a personal touch. It's a way to emphasize the closeness of a relationship and the many different relationships that we have. And that's perhaps we understand that even more now during this time of social distancing and, and not touching um, as much. That closeness is, is a beautiful thing. And here Jesus gives that to this man, saying, I am your Savior. Jesus has come for us. And I want you just to, to bask in that today. Jesus is your God. Jesus is your Savior. That relationship is between you and him. He came for you. And there's no relationship here on earth that will ever get as close as that one. And one day, we will be welcomed into his heavenly kingdom with open arms, giving us that, that, that welcoming hug, that physical touch, knowing that Jesus is our Savior for now and forever. Cherish that relationship that is yours. It's as close as any relationship, and it'll be even closer once and for all. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the relationship you have with us, that it is a personal one, that you came for each one of us. May we cherish that. May we understand that it is the closest relationship we can possibly have because you have bound yourself to us. Lord, strengthen us in that, and may we so be thankful, may we so cherish, may we so bask in your love each and every day of our lives. Until that day, we are with you in paradise. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, just a reminder that this Sunday in between services, so at about 9.15, we'll have our town hall meeting. This is a time for anybody to come and discuss the ministry that we've done in the past and ministry that um, we may or will be planning on doing in uh, the future. So plan on uh, coming to that. That's all for now. God bless your day. Can you say bye? Say bye? Up there. Bye.